All right, quick little overview on Synergy Sports Beginner, how to use it um, from the ground level. Um, anyone that's probably downloading it for the first time, I'm just gonna take you through the basic controls, basic buttons, and then we'll get into more advanced stuff um, either in this video or in another video. We'll see how far we go. But essentially, once you have your app loaded up, um, this will be blank for you if you're just getting started off, but essentially this is the custom edits tab. So this is where all the edits that you either load in from the website or that you customize and make on your own will live. So anything you do, you don't ever have to hit a save button. It saves automatically. So as you guys can see over the years of scouting reports and whatnot, there's a ton of edits, um, watching film. Um, you obviously can rename whatever you want the title of that edit to be. So, for example, I was watching some USC, uh, their defense. They were one of the best defenses in the country last season. So I was watching a little bit of their defense. So we're going to use them as the example. So anything that you have loaded up, will you'll find right in this bottom right corner. These are the edits that you already have open. So, again, this was just something else I was watching. And here is the USC um, tab right there. So to open that tab, to get there, you will double click. I'm using a MacBook, so just double click there. Go to open, and now you can open it up to the upper left if you want. You can put it on whatever part of the screen you want. I usually go um, bottom right, and then I'll close this one out. And you can see you could have multiple edits open at the same time. So I have two of the same right now, which doesn't make any sense. But you could have two open at the same time. So if you wanted to go back and forth for some reason, um, don't really recommend that in terms of being efficient. But uh, you could do it if you wanted to. So we'll leave here. So this is it. USC defense opened in the bottom right. And now we will go into you're seeing all of our clips. So the clips will play. You use your basic arrows here to go to the next one. You can double click, you can hit enter to play the clip. Um, and again, another thing I'll mention is the ability to have hotkeys. As you're starting to get more advanced, that's a different subject, but we'll get there eventually. Um, hotkeys allow you to kind of maneuver through the film quicker. So for example, it is your basic video controls, space bar to stop, space bar to play. Um, but for me, I use X as my fast forward and Z as my rewind. So you're seeing without having to click any buttons, those are the hotkeys that I have um, associated with uh, those controls. So before that though, here's the beginner tab. So everything you need to know right here with the click of a button. Very self-explanatory, 15 seconds back, five seconds back, two seconds back, two seconds forward, five seconds forward. Again, you have a play button right in the middle. You can jump to the next clip right here on the arrow on the outside, the arrow on the inside is fast forward. Same thing on this side. So once you start playing around a little bit, um, it's pretty simple. So if I have this open now, this USC defense, and I want to create a new edit from the USC defense, so let's just say teaching edit defense, All right? So you guys saw where I went, top right, click new custom edit. So now is where you'll start to clip and add things. So again, I pulled all of these USC clips from Synergy's web platform. All right, so I've got my teaching edit open here on the right. Got my clips here, so let's just watch a clip. Let's say I thought that was a bad closeout, right? We should have been there. Defensive error, and I think our team should see this. Now, there's two ways to do it. The most simple way to add the clip is to simply just drag it over to the edit that you want. So now you see that first clip is now in my teaching edit. You can also make a hotkey for this, I believe. I don't know if I have hotkey set up. I just drag it over to, uh, but you can definitely make a hotkey um, where you just click the button and it'll add it over to the edit. So again, if I go to the next clip, let's see, I see something else. Here we go. You know, USC plays pretty good defense, so um, I don't have many complaints, but all right, let's say we wanted to double the posts on this clip is what we were supposed to do. Again, I'm on clip number two. I just drag it up. Now, as you're making your edits, you want to start getting more specific so that you don't have to keep re-watching these clips over and over to remember each one. This is where the feature, the most important piece of all of this, is your notes, your text overlay, and your tags. Tags we're going to get into in a separate category that is way more advanced. But from a basic standpoint, remember the first clip was a bad closeout, right? So from notes, notes will not show up on the screen. 
So let's say I'm presenting this to the team. Anything that's notes, I will see, but the players will not see on the screen. So example, if I just wanted to write, you know, Sally, bad closeout, but I didn't want that Sally to necessarily, I didn't want that to come up on the screen, right? But I wanted to keep in mind that that's for Sally and that's the closeout play. So now if I click it, again, it plays, but nothing shows up. The difference is if I wanted the entire team to see, again, let's fast forward to the point where it came in here, teaching point, that I want everyone to be able to see that this should have been a double team, I could go to the text overlay, and that's going to show up on the screen. So, double this. Now you see in the top left corner, Everybody who's watching, all of our players, could see exactly what the title was. So notes and text overlay are two different things. Notes, for me, I feel like are my reminders. Something that I want to make sure that I say, whereas a text overlay, you want to keep that simple because you don't want paragraphs kind of, you know, up here that are going to get in the way of the film. So text overlay, maybe just to, to label the clips, um, but notes are just reminders for what you might want to say to the team or to the group. Um, so those are the two basics there. And now when you are having your edit on the right side, like you can play around with these. So like the title, you can make this bigger or smaller, the number of the clips. You can make the notes tab bigger or smaller just by dragging it. All pretty self-explanatory stuff. And then Synergy has its own tags, which we'll get into. But this is the playlist view. And I should have started there. When you see here, view in playlist, this is how it's going to show up. The last thing I'll touch on aside from the playlist view, um, sequencer view is for a different video. Again, that's getting a little bit more advanced ability to group things into separate categories. But I would say playlist is where you'll spend the majority of your time, um, especially when you're first starting off. The last thing that you'll want to know right off the bat, and then a lot of this is trial and error and just testing and playing. It's getting used to it like anything in life, right? So the more you use the platform, the more film you're watching, the more um, the easier it'll be for you to remember where the buttons are, what hockeys you want to do. Um, so it's really a comfort thing outside of just the general basis of knowing what the capabilities of the platform are. So the last thing though is in and out points. So remember, we wanted our players to remember that close out there, right? So as soon as that happens, I don't need all this other stuff on the back end of the clip. As soon as this ball goes up and the point that I want our players to see is done, I want to be able to clip this. So this is what we call in and out points. So for this one, because it's just the closeout, like I said, we would just hit O. So O is my hotkey. Or I would just hit out. So again, in and out. Are the basics I have I and O as my hotkeys so that'll just stop the clip where you end it so again here we go let it run full it gets to the closeout they get the rebound clip ends and it goes to the next one so instead of wasting time playing out the rest of the clip that's maybe not as important it's important to be able to use your in and out points so that your film sessions aren't ending up being a lot longer than they need to be so here's second clip this is exactly where I want it to start, right, as they're making the post entry. So I'll hit in or I. This is where we wanted the double. And maybe before she goes up into this shot is where I would hit out. So that clip will just play like this. So that clip will play just from the in and out point. Those are the Synergy intro basics. Hope this was helpful. Um, again, a lot of it is just practice. So hop on, pull up a game, create an edit for yourself, and start messing around.